so we used this angel tarot deck, the blue one, now we're gonna use the pink one. Um, so I'm gonna pull seven cards from this deck since I got the number three and seven from my guides. So we'll see what these cards have to say. So, same thing. There was an upside down card, so I snatched that one. That'll be the first card. And one more. So, seven cards. Here's the first card. It is successful completion. So it's a time of accomplishments you've just finished. Um, be justified in your joy, a sense of completion. You completed something, you did a good job, you're blessed with many more insights, and then soon you're gonna start something new. So same as the reading last time, um, when we just did the three cards, we talked about something new and bringing your dreams forward. And this is what this card is saying again. So a confirmation of that. Then uh, we have the Four of Action. The Four of Action says that your hard work and efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment, financial security, and you deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. Maybe it's time to celebrate with a wonderful event such as an engagement, wedding, buying a new home, or the birth of a child. So something um, new, it's great. And then um, abundance again, just like the card we had of Angel, uh, Archangel Gabriel was talking about abundance. And again, we see abundance here. Um, life is wonderful. Your hard work is paying off. Um, feel free to spoil yourself and enjoy your independence. It's really good. And again, manifesting your dreams. So again, confirming all of what we just had, ready to go. Um, take the first steps towards your dreams and know that the resources that you need will they will show up they will be there for you and then we have the nine of emotions it's the next card and it's talking about uh, again your dreams coming forward um, your angels are actually asking you to enjoy your life and to have more fun. So not be so serious all the time. Start using those emotions of joy and happiness and fulfillment. Then we have um, this card. Helper of emotion. And so this one talks about romance blooming. So it could be with somebody else. It could be with yourself. It could be that you're enjoying yourself more. Um, 
maybe there's someone new coming or um, somebody could be giving you gifts this week, which would be wonderful. Some poems, some flowers, or maybe it's time to gift yourself some of those. We did have that card earlier that talked about um, giving yourself, um, buying yourself something. So the abundance cards, we're talking about that. And then we have um, embrace those around you. So this talks about spiritual growth um, and to surround yourself with people that have similar beliefs as you and um, who love you unconditionally. Um, and don't forget to accept help from others. You know, we can we need to learn to ask for help and accept help, not always be the one um, giving. Um, and it ta it's talking about traditional um, solutions. So it's saying that um, you might find peace and uh, what you need into in a traditional, um, maybe traditional ceremonies or traditional things that your family's done or that kind of thing. So to look into your um, traditions also is important this week. So that's pretty good uh, reading. Um, both readings were really good. Very positive energy, no negative energy, just moving forward, lots of abundance, lots of uh, joy and happiness. So I hope that you feel that this week. Um, I feel much lighter, um, and uh, I'm looking forward to this week as well. New changes. I'm moving my shop to 238 Elm this week, so it's exciting. Um, a little bit scary, but exciting. And yeah, so I wish you all a very good week and thank you for watching. Miigwech.